welcome to my youtube channel electrical boost today we are going to discuss coefficient of coupling in our previous video we are so many problem regarding coupling circuit but today we are going to explain what is the coefficient of coupling in case in case of mutual inductance or couple circuit that means if we give supply to one winding or one coil it produce some magnetic field it produce some magnetic field due to this magnetic field magnetic field link with the next coil okay when the magnetic flux link the next coil and emf induce in that coil and emf induce in that coil how much emf induce that depend upon the what amount of flux magnetic flux linked to that secondary winding this is the primary and this is the secondary winding how much magnetic flux link it only depend upon how they are coupled how they are coupled to define this how they are coupled we decided a parameter this is called coefficient of coupling it is denoted by k it is denoted by k coefficient of coupling defined as coefficient of coupling is defined and defined as the it is defined as defined as the the fraction of the fraction of total flux total flux that links that links the coil the coil you can see it produce some magnetic field but total flux cannot be link cannot be link what amount of link that is called that is called coefficient of coupling that amount here here i can show you two three scenario let one coil is like this and coil like this here you can see total amount of flux linking both coil okay so here may be the maximum coefficient coupling is maximum and the maximum flux linking and you can see in this type coil like the coil is some distance or some other direction when the flux produce no flux is linked though so that the coefficient coupling is zero and some key scenario some part of link uh, flux are linking to it so that k is between 1 to between 1 to 0 1 to 0 okay so define the k here we're going to derive the how the k or uh, get okay k is the you can write here given that fraction of total flux that means 512 that means flux linkage due to this okay divided by this 5 that means total flux is this one and how much linking to the secondary coil this one okay or you can write two coils 5 to 1 another flux which linkage flux this is 5 to here you can write here the 5 1 is the total flux in coil 1 produced by coil 1 produced by the coil 1 5 to in the coil 1 this is coil 2 phi 2 okay and phi 1 2 phi 1 2 is the amount of flux phi 1 2 and phi 2 1 is the amount of flux link amount of flux link to the coil to the coil okay 
to the coil so that phi 1 2 always less than phi 1 because always no always total flux cannot be linked okay so that phi 1 sorry phi 1 and phi 2 1 also less than phi 2 phi 2 so the value of the k should be 1 to 0 okay it may be equal or less than total flux okay we are going to derive how we get a formula to find this k value okay we know for mutual inductance m equal to for what amount of mutual flux in the n1 we can write n2 into phi 1 2 into i2 what amount of current flowing through in this coil okay this is let equation number one and m equal to n1 phi 2 1 by i1 okay this is the flux this is the mutual inductance in the coil 1 and this is the coil 2 okay this is the mutual inductor we are going to multiply this one multiply when you multiply those two equation okay we get m square n1 into n2 okay this is phi 2 1 phi 1 2 okay phi 1 2 1 and phi into i1 into i2 we can just write from this equation we can write phi 1 2 value to this so that k phi sorry k phi 1 k phi 1 into k phi 2 into i1 divided by i1 into i2 okay you can write like this only so just simplify this one k square okay n1 just simplify for our equation phi 1 by i1 you can write like this no issue n2 phi 2 divided by i2 okay from this from this we can just go another phase from this we get only we get how much this is <coughs> we just get previous equation k2 k square sorry k square into n1 phi1 i1 okay into n2 phi2 i2 here we know here we know l equal to n phi inductance self inductance n phi by i1 okay this equation i derive in the previous video you can go and check this one okay so we can put this value to this one so this is uh, so m square okay this is you can put m square equal to you can write like this k square okay you just put n1 phi1 this is l1 and this is l2 okay to take k outside so that we can find we can get once minute we can get we can get m equal to k root over of l1 into l2 for finding the k for finding the k value use k to take this side and what you have when this is m k to this side okay root over of m divided by root over of l1 into l2 this is the final expression of for coefficient of coupling this is the final expression of coefficient of coupling i think 
you are understand understood this lecture thank you for watching this video if any doubt please comment thank you again